So Samsung released One UI 5 last year with uh, Android 13, and uh, we are now very close to Android 14 because it is in development. Now the question is, what features does it bring? What devices are actually eligible? Android 14 is already in development through the Android 14 previews, and uh, Samsung devices don't really get these previews uh, through Google, but what they do get and what they do develop is a newer version of One UI every year. This program will likely go live in the third quarter of 2023, which means that we will get most likely a stable and public version of One UI 6 in the fourth quarter of 2023. But the big question that everyone is asking is what devices are going to be eligible to get the One UI 6 update? So Samsung recently implemented a policy starting from 2021 that every device will be getting four years of updates and five years of security patches. What does that mean? Every device after the Galaxy S21 and going forward that was released afterwards is most likely gonna get One UI 6 updates. Even mid-range phones like the A53 and the A73 will be getting the One UI 6 update. But there are a lot of phones that will not get the One UI 6 updates and that includes phones like the S20, the first Galaxy Z Flip, also the second generation, the, the Z Fold 2, will not get One UI 6. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put up a list of the devices that will not be getting One UI 6 instead of just mentioning them so that you guys know which ones there are. So what will One UI 6 feature? What are some of the things that we can expect from it? Well, we really don't know, but Google has been showcasing some of the features on the Android 14 uh, preview, and most of the details that we see in the preview end up in One UI of Samsung. So by taking a closer look at Android 14 Beta 1, we'll be able to see or kind of get an idea of what we can expect from One UI 6. The new back feature feature on Android 14 beta is probably one of the most notable features that there is and what you're going to be able to do is basically go back to the previous screen from the left or the right of the screen with the arrows that are going to show on both of these sides. This is not something that you'll be able to see at all times. You'll have to turn on the gestures uh, features uh, on your settings but once you do then you will be able to see the arrow uh, at all times which then you can use to swipe left or right to go back to a previous screen. Google says that this gesture will help you understand the back gesture ability and usefulness. The second feature that we're gonna discuss is consistent and smoother sharing features on Android 14. On Android 14, app developers can add custom actions on the sharing menu. This will make it easier to access different sharing options in particular apps. The operating system utilizes more app signals to determine the placement or ranking of those actions in Samsung sharing menu. If you're wondering how this will be helpful, if you use the create link option on Google Photos, it will appear first in the list. This uh, will kind of make the user experience of One UI smoother and better. The third feature that we're gonna discuss is pre-app languages and preferences. So with the release of Android 13, Google introduced a new feature which was based on uh, uh, languages and preferences. The good news is that Google is improving this application on Android 14. Uh, to give an example, you will not need to switch the keyboard language every time you open an app. Uh, with the language preference feature turned on on Android 14, it will open the keyboard in the same language as the app's language. Next up, we have the accessibility services to become more secure on Android 14. The accessibility services on Android 14 will only get access to certain views. They claim that it will help users with disabilities. Google has taken this step to keep the user's data secure. It will also prevent critical actions from being executed unintentionally. Another long-awaited feature is the ability to hide the weather options on your home screen. Right now, the weather feature is most of the times turned on on your Samsung devices, but now with Android 14, you may be able to uh, hide that feature. And I'm saying you may be able to because this feature is specific to Android 14. It may not actually be specific to One UI 6. Next up, we have the dedicated Nearby Share in the sharing menu on Android 14. Nearby Share is basically Android's version of AirDrop. And Samsung has uh, its own version of that on One UI 5 at the moment, which is called Samsung Quick Share. Currently, if you want to use this feature, you actually have to navigate all the way up into the application. But with the introduction of One UI 6, this will be available on the sharing menu so you can immediately start sharing sharing instead of specifically going to that application. Now we will be able to most likely see a little bit of features on the Galaxy Unpacked event and uh, alongside with that we can expect also a few new devices, most likely the Z Flip 5 and the Z Fold 4 alongside the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. When is the event going to take place? Well most likely July 27, 2023 which is nearly a month away. 
Uh, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for One UI 6 and uh, the next upcoming event uh, for Samsung Unpack 2023. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know some of the features that you would like to see coming up on Android 14 and specifically on One UI 6. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.